Hi everyone and welcome to this channel called Zuzana Reacts where you help me learn all about India where, and I provide my European slog point of view and in today's video we're going to look a bit more into spirituality and we're going to look at what I think about swastika. I honestly it's been only a couple of years back till I figured uh, that it was actually a <clears throat> kind of positive symbol and I actually still don't know much about it, I didn't really dwell much into that topic. So I'm super excited uh, to, to learn more about it and uh, watch this video with you. So with the further ado, let's kick off. Steak, which is the combination of two Sanskrit words, su and asti, which literally means good and to exist, and to exist can be found on the doorsteps of many Hindus which is made by using red dyed powders, also known as kumkum. Wow, I had zero idea. Rice and flowers to decorate the ground of the entrance. In Hinduism, it is also believed that the four limbs of swastik are associated with several emblematic meanings. It can be constructed as the four Vedas. Okay. The four limbs can also be considered as the four goals of life according to Hinduism, which are dharma, earth, kaam, moksha. It is also construed as the representations of the four directions, the four yuk, and the four seasons. This swastik is found to be among the most perennial symbols of humanity. The archaeological evidence dating back to 4000 BCE showing its usage in the Indus Valley civilization where it was used tremendously. The swastik has been used for at least 8,000 years in the Balkans. In Ukraine, a sculpture carved with recognizable swastik dating back to 10,000 to 13,000 BCE was found. It's interesting. Do we, do we think that this is all somewhat interconnected? I mean, from India to Ukraine, it's quite a way. Let me know what you think. The oldest known usage of swastik dates back to the end of Ice Age. Other religions that originated from India also usually use the swastik for its similar auspicious meaning. In Jainism, it is considered as the symbol of seventh Tirthkar. Jains also... Seven what? Seven... Tirthkar? Please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you. ...believe that the arms symbolizes one of the four places of cycles of birth and death where the soul is reincarnated. In Buddhism, swastik represents Buddha's footprints and heart. At one time or another, I had no idea and I thought I knew just a bit about Buddhism. People throughout the world have used swastik. The Phoenicians used it to symbolize sun. The Native Americans have used swastik like symbols for quite a long period. For the Hopi, the swastik represents wandering clans and Navajo people use it in healing ceremonies as a whirling log. The swastik was also used in Europe and North America as a good luck symbol. In the 19th century, before the misappropriation of the symbol by the Nazis, it appeared on the certain beverage bottles including Coca-Cola and beer bottles. Many scouting groups in Europe and the Boy Scout in the USA. So in the, in the kind of my end of the world, it, it looked like there was a symbol for good luck. Interesting. Used the auspicious symbol on their badges. A town named Swastik was founded in Ontario, Canada, which remains as the same location to the state. In the US Army's 45th Infantry Division, Swastik was used as a sleeve insignia during the 1920s until the rise of Nazis. The Nazis used the swastik to indicate their notion of Aryan identity as they despicably failed in understanding the true meaning of the Sanskrit word Aryan. They surprise, surprise, right? Belief were rooted in the Aryan invasion theory, which was now being disapproved. The Nazis throughout that there was a master race or a group of people known as the Aryans, some of whom invaded and conquered the Indian subcontinent. The reality was way different 
than what they had imagined. The Sanskrit term Aryan means Nobel, which mainly refers to the conduct of people. The misconduct of Nazis led to the reasonable aversion to all of the Nazi symbolism, including their illustration of swaste. The European Union attempted to ban the usage of swaste in all form, discontinuing its depiction. The Hindus have surprise, surprise, right? It's it's shame. It's a really a shame. Have spoken up against the ban of the sacred symbol. Oh. A representative of the Hindu Forum said that swastik had been around for 5,000 years as a symbol of peace. There have been constant efforts around the globe through interfaith dialogue to clear the misunderstanding. I had no idea that it was actually supposed to symbolize peace. That's very, very interesting. The standings regarding the symbol in recent years. At the second Hindu Jewish Leadership Summit in 2008, formal recognition to the long positive history of swastik was put into motion. It mentioned that swastik is an ancient and greatly auspicious symbol of the Hindu tradition. It has been inscribed on Hindu temples, ritual altars, entrance and even account books. The participants recognized that this symbol has been sacred to Hindus for millennia, long before its misappropriation. Thank you so much, guys. So this is interesting. So how do you feel about the misappropriation? Because I think that a symbol just really, at least in the Western world and coming out of the world wars, has this very negative connotation. And um, I think very few people really know the, the true meaning. Like, I just learned about it pretty much right now. So... Um, I, I wonder how you perceive that because obviously, you know, it, it's the, the world wars are such a recent history uh, that it, it almost overtakes what has been there for 5,000 of years, what, what, what the gentleman suggested in the video. So I'd love to know your point of view on this one. Like, how do you feel about this, this subject? Uh, because obviously you haven't really experienced the world wars and, and, and the doom that he's has brought on um but um but yet it's it's one of your sacred symbols so i would love to know your point of view and i'd love for you to share any thoughts on this with me in the comments below and if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up share subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one until then please do take care bye